Okay, gonna do a little experiment. A little experimentation. Um, when I put the bond beam along the top edge of this, I need to hold the forms in place with something. I know drywall screws go right into the tires without any problem. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, they're everywhere. So I'm not worried about... Um, so my question was, do I get like 12 inch drywall screws? Do I get a bunch of those? Do I get 12 inch lag bolts? Um, will the drywall screws be strong enough um, with six inches in the rubber and then six inches up above kind of against the against the uh, form outside of the form and then I wondered about rebar and this little I think this is 3 8 I just checked it up in the drill I had already sharpened kind of a little tip on it like that um, just to so I could drive it in the ground better and let's see what it does don't fall in that far you can see where it wiped all the rust off kind of polished it and that was warped and bent kind of broke the tip off the very sharp tip but rebar might be a cheap option a cheaper option I got to price screws I got to price lag bolts lag bolts or long screws would be easy to put in and take out um, and then maybe I'd use them on another project but uh, the rebar is pretty dang strong and so I'm going to run pieces of this down the middle of the bond beam anyway um, before I pour the bond beam to help attach the bond beam to the tires. So I'll do these every 18 inches or so and then stagger them back and forth and back and forth and back and forth uh, pieces of rebar like this. And then they'll stick up above as well to be able to tie my um, Vegas to, my roof beams. Okay, cool.